MTV in the 90s had a string of weird animated shows, and this is one of them called The Head, about this normal, mild-mannered guy who just wants to get his antidepressants, but it turns out an alien crawls into his brain and lives there, and it becomes his best friend. And it's just like, bro, if you're an alien, why don't you just, like, live in a UFO or something? Like, you don't have to live in, like, oh, damn cranium. Just look at him. He doesn't look really happy about it because it's, like, it's probably hurting his fucking neck a lot. And then, like, the alien comes out and tries to be his friend and shit. And whenever he gets in trouble, the head will, like, start growing bubbles and festers and boils. And it'll pop the fuck out and run around and do his bidding for him. And I don't know what they were thinking with MTV at this point. But I wish they did more of that stuff today because this shit is fucking awesome. Duckman finally kind of gets over his date being really, really ugly, and he's about to kiss her ass, and it's like, good for you, Duckman, the character development of seeing through this person's visual flaws, but other people are still giving her shit for being ugly, and Duckman punches somebody out, and at this point, the chick is like, I'm so tired of people being mean to me, and it's just like, oh, that is sad, and it's like, god damn it's sad, and it's just like, oof. I'm so glad that I'm not that ugly and I can just sort of get away with wandering around in public without people be like, who the fuck is that guy? But this chick is like, I'm gonna change myself for you, duck man. And it's like, don't fucking change yourself for anybody, boo. Come on. Don't be, I'm a nice guy. We're all like, oh. After Unity breaks Rick's heart the second time, or third time, or fourth time, we don't know how often they go back and forth. You know how that shit goes. Rick goes crazy on his uh, glunk and his glunk and his bloop and his boop 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 boops, and he just goes insane. Insane with power, madness, adventure, and he's just going a little bit too hard, as you can see, picking up his own spaceship and crushing it like Superman, and then he's just like, he's just completely just trashed and wasted at this point. Complete intervention, rock bottom, and more is like I'm 14 years old I've seen too much and Rick and that and the end Rick turns into his greatest nemesis Plumbus Rick and you don't even want to know what this guy can do because no one it does Batman recently did a movie crossover with the Ninja Turtles and it was freaking amazing and the best part was at the very end they do a bunch of Batman Ninja Turtles comic book cover crossover mashup shits and they are balling dude like that was probably there's like I was looking at these covers and I was like damn dude like they should print these as posters or a postcard set or do a run of Batman Turtles t-shirts because these images are freaking hot yo like damn dude like I wish they'd make this into a little mini series like Batman Turtles crossing over their greatest adventures together and then Starro shows up. You're like, is that fucking Starro the Conqueror? Or Starro the Innocent, depending on who you ask. And then, like, just Shredder, Robin, we hate him. And then the original Turtles cover with Batman. But also, more Starro! Hell yeah. Comic book artists. Microsoft Paint was one of the coolest programs ever because you could just paint stuff with your mouse on your keyboard and on your computer, on your desktop and stuff, and just draw. It was draw and draw, and it looked like shit, and it was super weird, but it was still awesome in its own way. Computers, man, they changed everything. Before you had to get, like, a crayon or, like, a watercolor or a fucking color pencil and to do shit like this. Now you can just use a fucking computer. The Simpsons gave Homer's best friend Barney Gumble his own comic book, which was filled with all types of illicit and explicit activity. The glunk, glunk. <sighs> If you know what I mean, because we all know Barney Gumble likes to get fucked up all the time. Like, all the time. That was like his character, all that was his, his soul was just the drink. And I hope he gets better soon.